Hi, I'm Austin with Landmark Park, and today we're going to be talking about Bessie. Bessie is a Piney Woods cow. They are a very hardy breed of cows. They are adapt to the hot and the humid in, in here in the south. Um, cool thing about them, they have, even the females have the horns. Um, there's a few different lines of these cows. Um, some of them are white and red like Bessie is. Some of them are all black. Some of them are yellow, um, but they all have horns. <laughs> um, they were brought to the U.S. in the early 1500s. You can see they really like attention. <laughs> she likes attention. <laughs> and we're going to be learning about Dominique chickens. Um, around here, they're ca often called Dominickers. Um, they're a heritage breed. They're the first breed to um, be recorded in, in America. And um, they were often used for their meat and their eggs and their feathers were used for feathering pillows and comforters and mattresses. Um, they are a very hardy breed. They're, um, they're used to the hot and the humid and their um, combs are resistant to frostbite. Um, and if you would like to see them, you can come out to the park once we open again and come and see them. <laughs> and today we see Jasper. He is a Nubian donkey. He is the same kind of donkey that it said that Jesus rode on Palm Sunday because he has the cross down his back. Um, a little antisocial today, isn't he? A little antisocial, but he is a baby and we love him anyway. <laughs> and if you come visit us at Landmark Park, Jasper has a tendency to get excited and he'll nip. So that's why we ask, you know, if you come see us, even though he's super friendly and you want to pet him, um, I would advise against it because he, um, sometimes he has a tendency to bite. You said this is dropped? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. This is dropped. Um, I started that wrong. Okay. Go ahead. I'm Austin with Landmark Park and today's. <laughs> and they are um, known for being hardy scavengers. They will scavenge insects and worms and slugs and anything they can find that they find edible. Um, the males can get up to about 750 pounds and the females can get up to about 550. Um, something specific to their breed is the um, wattles that hang down from their neck. That's only in that breed. And uh, he is having himself a good old time in the mud. And he's getting his water back. So, yeah. Um, and these hogs are so smart. They they use the mud not just to cool off, yeah. but it also protects their skin from the sun, from getting sunburned. So they'll get in the mud puddle like this one's doing right now. And um, the mud will cake on their skin and dry and it actually protects them. It protects so, um, them from the sun and the insects. And the insects as well. So he knows what he's up to. He knows what he's doing and he's having fun. <laughs> Getting us soaking wet while he's doing it. So um, we can't wait to reopen and see everybody. We are missing everybody so much. Um, but we're still coming out taking care of the animals. And uh, we can't wait till we reopen. We can see y'all again.